Good evening, you're watching News Mongolian b -World. I'm your host, Anna Kambata. And for top stories, Mongolian baritone selected as the best baritone by the Opera Star International. Town Total Thermal Power Plant Project implementers will be selected within 90 days. Photo exhibition to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the accession to the United Nations opens. And for the news, stay tuned. Year 2021 marks the 60th anniversary of Mongolia's accession to the United Nations. To commemorate this event, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the United Nations Resident Office in Mongolia jointly launched the UN Week from 20th to 27th October to promote the history of the UN and the importance of the membership to the general public. Within the frame of this UN Week, a photo album was launched and a photo exhibition opened on October 21st at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The director of the Multilateral Cooperation Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Girilma, made her opening remarks for the ceremony. She talked about the enormous contributions made by the United Nations over the past 60 years to maintaining world peace and security, promoting international exchanges and cooperation, and enhancing world development and progress. Moreover, she also pointed out that in human history, no organization has ever had such a major global influence as the United Nations. Very pleased today to be launching the photo album for the 60th anniversary of Mongolia joining the United Nations. This is a photo album which has around 120 photographs in it, representing 60 years of collaboration and history of Mongolia in the United Nations, both at the headquarters level engagement, but also the engagement of different UN agencies with Mongolia over the years. Guests and senior diplomats attended the photo exhibition. The invited guests showed great interest in this exhibition. They highly acclaimed the contributions made by Mongolia to the United Nations, hoping to see an even more active and intensive role to be played by Mongolia in the United Nations and world affairs. The significance is that it gives Mongolia that identity of the sovereign independent nation that has the voice to speak to the whole world about the global issues and about issues that it's most concerned about on peace, security, on human rights, on inclusive and sustainable development. So Mongolia has a stage in the whole world where it raises its voice on issues that is of highest concern. So uh, today, on the, this occasion, we have launched a photo album in, in the whole UN country team to showcase some of those images because pictures are very, very precious and talks about a lot of those events happening and how Mongolia has developed into a strong and vibrant nation in the path of inclusive and sustainable development. This historic photo album contains more than 100 photographs and the photo exhibition features more than 30 unique historical events. More than 30 photos shown at the exhibition reflect many invaluable historical records, such as representatives of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs signing on the UN Charter and the Mongolian state and government leaders participating in UN conferences. In addition, it also demonstrates Mongolia's extensive participation and active support to the work of the United Nations in peacekeeping operations, disarmament, economic and social development and human rights. Now let's take a look at the decision made at the regular cabinet meeting of this week. The Minister of Energy was tasked with organizing a tender for the selection of Tavan Talga thermal power plant construction and to boost project execution without any further delay. Representing project initiator Tavan Talga Ertnes LLC will fund up to 30% of this project. The remaining amount will be funded by tender based on the result of an international open tender for self-funding EPC plus F option approved by the government of Mongolia. The tender was announced on October 21st and the winner of the tender will be selected within 90 days. After a successful tender, a construction deal will be agreed upon in the first quarter of 2022. A new 450 megawatt thermal power station and 220 kilowatt transmission line will be operational by 2025. The Minister of Energy Tevenbich presented the progress of a construction project for the fifth electric and thermal power plant that is based on upon the infrastructure of the thermal power plant number three. Thermal power plant three is one of the main sources of providing heating in Ulaanbaatar. 
Even though it is located in the most appropriate area to generate city heating, the main equipment for the station has aged and now is in a hazardous state. Project implementation companies from Mongolia and Russia, Interrao Export Organization and the Mongolian TIS-3 state-owned enterprise have signed a cooperation memorandum and negotiated working terms. Interrao expert company will carry out a feasibility study within 180 days. The government of Mongolia is planning to present an issue for a loan based on the analysis of the feasibility study from the government of the Russian Federation in the first quarter of next year. The Ministry of Health and the National Center for Communicable Diseases provided the latest updates on COVID-19 status in Mongolia. The Ministry of Health today on October 22 has reported that 1,719 new COVID-19 cases were detected in the past 24 hours after tests were carried out at PCR laboratories across the country. Unfortunately, 19 people died due to COVID-19 complications. All new cases are of domestic transmission, 964 out of which were confirmed in Ulaanbaatar and the remaining 755 were confirmed in the provinces. 18,841 COVID-19 patients are being treated at hospitals nationwide. Additionally, 52,399 patients are being treated at home. Among the 18,841 COVID-19 patients being treated at hospitals nationwide, 9,043 are showing mild symptoms of illness and 367 are in critical condition. Currently in Mongolia, 2,254,395 people have received their first COVID-19 vaccine dose nationwide and 2,137,368 people have received a second dose of vaccine. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. Mongolian baritone Amr Tushinkpat was designated as Best Baritone by the Opera Star International Opera Awards event. This event is literally the Lyrics Oscars and is promoted by the Italian Confederation, Associations and Foundations for Opera and Symphonic Music. It is organized by Verona Perlarena Foundation and the United Arab Emirates-based company FinService LLC. The event enhances and contributes to the promotion of the opera in the world, which is considered as a world cultural heritage by UNESCO. Opera Star International Opera Awards will take place at Expo 2020 on December 29th of 2021. Now let's take a look at the currency exchange rates provided by Mongo Bank. Here's the weather forecast of world major cities. Well, that's all for today and thank you for staying with us. We will see you next week with more news and updates. Have a nice weekend. Goodbye.